This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And now things get really exciting on the UEFA Champions League front. We're at the semi-final stage, and what we have coming up is the first leg. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams, and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Well, they play without a main centre forward, but it's the wide players that end up through the middle. And they also look to get their fullbacks into advanced positions to deliver some great crosses. On their day, they're very difficult to negate. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Vinicius Jr. Just made sure nothing came of that. He'll take this on. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. And there's the delivery. Oh, really good header, really fine goalkeeping. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Played over. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Valverde. Grafenberg. Teo Hernandez. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Vinicius Jr. Useful cross towards the near post. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery.
Amin Guiri. Very good interception. He'll have a go here. Oh, tremendous goal! A long way out, but took it on. A memorable finish. Second goal for them here. Well, can they be creative from here? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Pau Torres. Now De Ligt. Vinicius and the keeper getting across to stop it he's driven in the corner and the no-nonsense clearance. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. It's a corner. Locatelli. Chouameni. It's with Guerrero. Dybala. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, here it is again, and having got a touch on it, he'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't keep it out. It was a good effort, though. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Ihataren. Guiri in possession. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And a long way out here. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Pau Torres. Lucas Vasquez and now Rodrigo well they could run onto it here not the easiest of situations for the keeper the first half here comes to an end second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway 
Dybala. Locatelli. Guerrero. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. And beating the defender. Chouamini. It might be. Nicely blocked. Corner kick forthcoming. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Over it comes. It could be up for grabs. Locatelli. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Who can they pick out? In the corner, far too close to the goalkeeper. Chouamini. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. This could level it. What a block. Now, oh, can they find the magic they need from this corner? Madrid are going to make the change now. Delivering it. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Well, his control let him down badly, and it's going to be a goal kick. Substitution for Real Madrid. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Now potential danger. Oh, it's an unbelievable save by Courtois. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And there's the delivery. It's not a particularly good corner there. Valverde. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Locatelli. This could level it. And there it is, the full-time whistle. It's advantage, Real Madrid going into the return leg. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what, though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides, and it's set up perfectly for round two.
one man the focus of attention. In fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV? Well, it really is a sparkling day for football at one of the great venues in the world game, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Madrid facing Celta Vigo. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. A potentially absorbing contest as Real Madrid get things going. And he takes it away. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Gianluca Scamacca. Enes Unal with it. Into the advanced position. Great opportunity. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Playing it in. Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Rodrigo. Well, confirmation as we look at the table of newly crowned champions. I say that, but today is the day when they'll receive that much coveted. And this time to run, sadly, that's offside. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this oh, game, can he finish Stuart? it, Derek? And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Lato. Skamaka. Now it's Kainz. Strong but fair tackle. looking attack oh and he puts away the second chance but the goalkeeper angry with himself here well here it is again and I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper you have to say that he spilled it right into the danger zone and at this level you're always going to be punished
so 2-0 now. Not a good pass. Oh, he's put it just a fraction wide of the post. Could reduce the deficit, and he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. And Fernandez. Chance to play it in. Kainz. And can they prize them open now? And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Now a decent position. And it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And it's a very tidy finish, because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. It's with Fernandez. Gianluca Scamacca. Chance to reduce the arrears. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Played over. Oh, no end product. And now the delivery. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Febas. Skamaka. And a very good challenge. Vinicius Junior. Breaking at pace. 
convert. Shot blocked, but still alive. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, just look at the bend he puts on this. It's good technique and perfect placement. That's a top quality finish. Well, on they go again, and Real very much in control. Unal. Now it's Kainz. And there's Unal with it. Febas. Florian Kainz. And the ruling is offside here. Substitution for Real Madrid. Moretti. Marcos Llorente. Grafenberg. Marcos Llorente has it. Llorente, well, flinging himself at it. <laughs> there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Good effort here! So near, but wide. Trying to pick out a teammate, and just over the bar. Well, he attacked it so well, but he just couldn't get above it, could he? Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Skamaka. And that's an important intervention. Has someone to play it to? And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. Over it comes, and he's clear as lines. Mm 
space and time for the cross. Good looking ball, teammate available. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. And now the delivery. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And there's the final whistle. In a way, this game had an academic quality about it. Everyone here, including the players, just waiting for the moment when they can celebrate their accomplishments. The trophy will soon be theirs. Well, it's been a long wait, but it's worth it. Celebrating in front of their own fans. They've been excellent this season. They fully deserve to be the champions. And that is a vivid picture of what we associate with this group of players. It's all about the team ethic. You can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the spoon. And now they savour the moment. Well, for some of these players, it will be the pinnacle of their careers. They just have to take it all in now and realise what they've achieved here. It doesn't come much better than this, does it? And just look at those fans. They've followed their club everywhere. Really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And this is always part of the fun, Stuart, the photographs. Well, this photo will be hanging up in the study for years to come, won't it? Just make sure you're in that front row. That would be my advice. So there we have it, the league champions.
the man to watch. He starts today, but might he be retiring? Stay with us for all the action on EA TV. Hello from one of the great venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, Derek, this could be an absolute classic. Yes, Real have a one-goal advantage, but I thought it was a very even first leg. This could go right to the wire. Let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Well, as you can see, the centre forward drops into midfield and the wide players stay high up the pitch. When played well, it creates a numerical advantage in midfield and makes it difficult for the back line to know who to pick up. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Locatelli with it. Mazraoui. Locatelli. An attack full of promise. Firing it towards goal. Tremendous reflexes. Thibaut Courtois. And responsible for the corner is Dybala. How about the cross? Locatelli. to get a body in the way Dybala good technique displayed crucial interception amid impending danger Federico Valverde and now Rodrigo failure in possession by Real Madrid again Guerrero Dybala might be able to set up the chance in it goes the goal for 1-0 and that changes the dynamic well as we see it again just watch how well the cross is delivered low hard and accurate and when he gets onto it he decides to go for power it's a really emphatic finish which gives the keeper no chance well, 
it's 2-2 on aggregate here. Locatelli. And it's with Gonzalves. Good visualisation and execution. Courtois with the easy save. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Teo Hernandez. It's with Vinicius Junior. As you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. So on aggregate, it stands at 3-2. Grimaldo. Chouameni. Guerrero. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Vinicius Junior. How about the cross? And crossed in the direction of the back post. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. But well, attacking possibilities. He's taken on his opponent here. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. <laughs> Substitution for Real Madrid. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not messing around with that clearance. Effort from long distance. And the keeper there to deal with it. going to make the change now and over it comes 
And you've got to say, not the best of volleys that time. Yeah, it was certainly there to hit, but he just couldn't make the right contact. It was well wide in the end. Guerrero, five minutes remaining and level pegging here. Ings. Well, no stopping him. Able to deal with the threat. Locatelli. Excellent vision from Dybala. Now the attack fizzled out. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And it's in the through ball. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. And intercepts again. Oh, wonderful bit of skill. Will it happen for them? Oh, he's gone for goal. And there it is, the whistle. It's the end of the contest. And Real Madrid will ascend to the high altar of the Champions League final. Well, I thought they fully deserved their win because over the two legs, they were more fluent with their passing, had a more structured game plan and created the better opportunities.